We are currently on our way to Catania and the car is super full. We're actually currently waiting to pay at the toll. Yeah, it's about a two hour drive to Catania. It's gonna be all throughout the middle of Sicily rather than on the coast. We are in Catania. They got into beauty, you know, the old beauty. Our first stop is this little cute fruit stand and we're all getting a juice. I'm getting a pomegranate juice. This looks really fresh. Look at how pretty the street is. Just all of Europe is beautiful. This is where we are for lunch, and it's so nice here. So, Marco just informed me that apparently olive oil can make your boots grow, and thus, I will be consuming a lot of olive oil from now. What is the starter? Sardia becca figo, very Sicilian. Yay! It's, it's full of taste. It's a mix of sweet and sour, you will see. Okay, and then we got some tartare. There are pine nuts in here and raisins. This is my seafood pasta. That looks unreal. Yeah, it looks fucking good. And then this is good try. pasta. Okay, we just finished lunch and now, Marco, what are we doing? We're going to uh, <laughs> called Biscari which is a, a, one of the greatest examples of the Sicilian Baroque in Catania and it's a private palace and it's the only palace that was built on the old walls thanks to the authorization of King Charles V and in this palace what happened something curious Bo well go play film a video over there and then if you ask me how I know I'm just really well cultured <laughs> now the song of the cold place Violet Hill and the video was shooted inside the palace nice Just walking through the streets of Catania and if you take a close look at this street it actually stems really really far and there's even just like these beautiful lights all along. I feel like it would be very gorgeous during nighttime. It is currently under renovation but we're gonna go inside. This is the name of the artist we're gonna meet, Renato Leo. This is the inside. on the bust of a, on a female bust from a Roman era, so much later period. Wow, look at the ceiling. This is magnificent. Holy. Look at the furniture back in the day. This staircase, oh my god. Wow, I love this. Oh my gosh. So this is our Catania Airbnb. There is a bar, you guys. There's a bar in the front. This is actually a super modern, Airbnb as you can see like look at is that retreat three people in a one bedroom apartment but look in the bathroom you can change the color okay well anyway this is supposed to change all the colors if that's of interest to anybody and upstairs is the loft nice hello guys welcome to another day good morning <laughs> where are we today we are in a cereal okay this bell is really loud one sec We are here for some granita and some brioche bread, which is that thing here. 
and look at all the other pastries. We are having some granita with some brioche bread, and we're eating it in the city that is apparently most known for it. So if you guys look at the ground, um, you can see these like black ashes and stuff and this is actually from the volcano. So it'll go up into the sky and it eventually falls on the ground and it's all over Catania and even these areas but this is all volcanic ashes. Isn't that so cool? But you can see it more prominently like in patches like this, like here. Just finished our granita and now we are at, where are we? We are in between Aci Castello and Aci Reale by the sea. There are a ton of boats here. <laughs> Gonna have one last lunch with Marco before I leave for Ibiza. Look at this, oh my God, this is where I belong. So this is where we're going for lunch. So we are currently at this restaurant and we ordered basically just like full seafood starter thing. The first one is a octopus salad. This is extremely popular in Sicily. Some carpaccio and some little shrimps. Next we have cooked little shrimpies. I think these are cold papers, I'm pretty sure. Last we have mussels. Hello guys, welcome to another day in Sicily and as you can tell from the big ass smile on my face today we are going shopping but today's shopping is really exciting because it's not just to any mall or location this is actually at the Cecilia Outlet Village aka it is the luxury shopping outlet so there's literally a Gucci and Prada outlet store and amongst other ones as well so this is like outlet shopping on steroids because it's actual luxury outlets. I'm going to show you guys around, but I think I'm just going to go directly to the main ones, aka Gucci and Prada. Plus, I think I only have like five hours, so I'm really going to like make a move on it. In preparation for shopping today, I have this whole like outfit plan. Basically, whenever I go shopping, especially intense shopping, there is a formula, okay, you guys? First formula is you have to wear something that's like easy to like take on and off. So for me, I prefer either like skirts or dresses because because you can like easily put your pants on and like take off etc i also like to wear something like top wise that's easy to take off or if you're wearing a dress that's fine too i also like to wear nipple stickers instead of an actual bra obviously i'm also wearing my nike air force ones because we are walking all day okay this is a workout and in terms of bags obviously i have my purse that's going to be like my shoulder bag on the side of me so i can easily like not have to carry that i can carry my shopping bags and i even brought my tote bag sometimes the shopping bags are really flimsy and like the handles can like hurt your fingers so it's just better if you like also bring like a tote bag and i kind of thought that this was like a shopping outfit that i kind of like came up with but then the two italian girls that was like walking in front of me they were wearing the exact same thing so i'll leave like a footage here for you but you can see they're literally wearing dresses sneakers purse and a tote bag and i'm like wow did i just like come up with this or just is this like every shopaholic's like go-to outfit for like intense shopping anyway i'm here i will let you know when i get to gucci slash prada all the luxury brands all in one little corner to make it easy for us amazing first stop is gucci let's see what we can find in there starting off with shoes i'm just like i just grabbed a random pair and the outlet prices are really good look at this original price 420 euro and outlet price is 190 euro okay so first impressions of gucci i didn't personally find anything for me to buy there was a pair of shoes that i was like very much into i'll take a picture and show you guys on the side but they didn't have my size it was really cute though all the stuff is just like from definitely from their older collection as you guys know my whole philosophy is i have to love the product in order for me to buy it no matter what the discounted price is we're gonna head over to prada now and see if there's anything there Versace is actually their beachwear, but I feel like this would actually make like such an amazing dress design. It just looks so cute. Oh my god, isn't this such a cute dress? Hello guys, it's the evening, and unfortunately we had to say bye to Marco. He has work to do, and so it was actually the last time that I will be seeing him until I guess 
whether he comes to Canada or I come back here. So today what we did was we actually met the Bishop of, do you know what city that, that was again? Anyway, we mentioned it earlier. Okay, we were complaining that we didn't get blessed. <laughs> but that's why we forgot the name of the city. <laughs> This is my pasta and this is Bo's pizza. This is huge. Oh my god, we got upsold dessert. We usually don't get dessert, but this restaurant, man, this guy is a good salesman. <laughs> good morning, everyone. God has blessed me to live another day. I'm just kidding. I need to stop saying that, but honestly, this is my mood whenever I wake up. I'm just like, I am so happy to be alive. I had gone to the outlet mall. I didn't get a chance to kind of tell you what ended up happening. I went to all the luxury stores and then there was actually an incident. I just feel like this was a bad financial decision, but I'm kind of over it. I've been looking for like a pink bag-ish because I feel like all of my bags are pretty like neutral colored. The Dior one that I recently got is like kind of blue-ish, but it's like more grayish blue. So I was like, you know what? I really want like a statement color. So obviously wanted to go for my favorite color, pink. And I looked everywhere and like the Prada options and the Gucci options in the outlet mall, even though the prices were good, they just weren't the style that I wanted. And as you guys know, like I don't care if it's like really cheap. If I don't like love it, I don't really want to get it unless if it's like actually like dirt cheap but anyway so this is kind of the point of the story so i went to moshino and moshino has this like commercial brand called love moshino it's like definitely one of their cheaper options instead of the actual luxury brand and i finally saw this like pink bag that has the gold chain that i wanted but the only thing i didn't like love about it was like obviously it wasn't real leather but if you're buying this brand their love moshino line you're not looking for real leather it was also a little bit bigger than i wanted it's like a little bit big for my frame. The product options that were there, they all had silver hardware. And as you guys know, all my jewelry is gold. Anyway, so when I went to La Moschino, this bag is actually super cute and it has the gold chain and it's like a gold chain for the shoulder. So I saw this bag and I was just kind of like, oh my God, like I asked him how much it was. I think it was like 68 euros, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe this can be my clubbing bag. The one that like, I don't really care about rather than like, I don't know, my Prada bag or like my LV or like whatever it was. By the way, before I continue the story, I do understand that this is a very first world problem. Okay. I do understand. I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed. I go to the next store, it's Versace, and they have the exact bag that I've been looking for in a smaller size, it still has the gold hardware, and I just love the look so much better. So I immediately go back to Moshino, and I was like, can I return the bag that I literally just bought one second ago? And I was explaining to him, like I literally just saw the bag that I actually wanted in the next store. And the guy's like, oh, you can't return, but you can exchange. So I go around the entire store, and I don't see any else I like and the one thing I saw that I liked of course of course this would happen is one euro less than this one and he's like no it has to be the same or more so you can't make that exchange so I'm like oh my god like I don't know what to do at this point anyway as you guys can see from me already showing you the love Moshino bag I kept it and I also got the Versace bag that I really wanted. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna do a review of it later, but this is exactly what I wanted. The size, the color, and it's like a little bit of a brighter pink and it's Versace. You know, I'm in Italy, so I wanted like an Italian designer. It's everything I wanted and this is real leather, obviously. And I'm surprised that I found this at the outlet store because this style is still very much on their website and it was like over half off. This is why I thought I was gonna regret it if I don't get it. I got it for 535 euros. I can't remember how much euros it was in the actual like retailer. The only colors that they have left now on the website obviously is like white and black, which makes sense because like for the outlet, I'm sure they're just trying to get rid of like the statement pieces, the limited edition ones, and they wanna keep obviously all the staple items. Very unlike the Gucci store and the Prada store, when I went to the Gucci and Prada stores, they had a lot of discontinued styles. I don't know, like you guys help me decide like, should I keep both? I feel like I would club with this too. So maybe I'll just club with this and I'll just keep it because it's still like much bigger. Or my other option actually was to just resell it because this is honestly a very good bag. If I didn't have this bag, I had full on intentions to keep this one. I don't know. I think I might just like resell it. Or I guess if you're watching this, if I haven't already sold it or used it, 
let me know if you want it and it shall be yours maybe. Yeah, if you wanna buy it off me, let me know. So that is kind of my outlet shopping day story. And now I am actually gonna head over to the fish market in Catania and I'm gonna try to make my own lunch today. We'll see how that goes, but I love fish markets. So I'm very excited for this whole thing. Hello guys, I am back from the fish market. Everything was so cheap. Everything was like 10 euros for all the groceries. Not 10 euros, like 15 euros for all the groceries. 12 euros for all the seafood. And they gave me so much seafood. So the first thing I bought were clams. Then he threw in mussels for free and gave me parsley for free. I went to buy four scampi seafood thingies. I don't know, should I grab it? They're not gonna bite me, right? Maybe. Ooh, it looks like a bit these? like my dick. Anyway, so I got this and I only got four of them and he tries to upsell me like this stuff So originally he's like 10 euros and I was like, no, no, this is too much for me And I was like, I'm just one person eating this and I was like, it's too many So he takes out one shell out of three and he's like, okay, five euros Immediate 50% discount and then we also got some pistachios They're really common here in Catania. It's like a good condition to make pistachios If there's anywhere you want to buy pistachios, this is it. Oh, I also got upsold on this actually <laughs> Bo is doing a face palm. Okay, so this is like a new fruit on the outside It kind of looks like dragon fruit. I don't know what it's actually called, but he got me to try one This is how I got upsold just like the pistachios I also got some fresh tomatoes. We got some eggplant because eggplant is also super common here. Onion, garlic, and zucchini. So we're gonna make some lunch. I went to this really cute wine shop that also sells really high quality olive oil. We had this really good olive oil last night and then I showed her a picture of it and I was like, which one is like similar to this one? And she says this one's even better. And this one's actually from Catania. So this is what it looks like. I also got this pesto for our pasta. Okay, anyway, that's it. We're gonna make lunch. This is inspired by our restaurant last night. It was absolutely amazing. So we went to buy the ingredients ourselves. We've got fresh tomato, olive oil, and ricotta cheese. Wanna come do a taste test? Ready? Yeah. Wow! It doesn't taste like yesterday though, but it's good. What tastes different about it? Do we need sugar? Maybe. It's always better with sugar thing usually anyway. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. Just chop some garlic. We're cooking! Made our own lunch. 